The fast of Daniel is the abstinence from all secular information such as media, entertainment, music and literature for 21 days with the aim of achieving something greater, the Holy Spirit. During the fast of Daniel, you will develop an intimate communion with God. But before getting to know what you should do during the fast, you must understand what you should not do. Exclude all unnecessary and superficial activities from your life, the ones that divert your focus from God. Exclude mere entertainment or distractions that add nothing to you. What should you do during the fast of Daniel? Meditate on the Word of God every day. Go to the church as often as you can during these 21 days. Have your personal moments with God at home. Pray, fast, and absorb spiritual content. Visit the UCKG's website. Follow Bishop Macedo's blog. Take part in the Fast of Daniel and observe changes in your actions and reactions. Find the answer you have been looking for for so long. The Fast of Daniel. 21 days to be disconnected from the world and connected to the Spirit of God. Hello everyone, you are joining us on day 19th of the 21 day fast of Daniel. We are almost, almost there. We have only two days, today and tomorrow, for the great out pouring of the Holy Spirit that will be happening also tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, Sunday, the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Today is Friday and today is not just an ordinary Friday, today is Good Friday, today is a holy day. A day where the Lord Jesus Christ was crucified and He died for the remission of our sins. But when the Lord Jesus died, He left us a promise, a promise of the Holy Spirit that He would not leave us orphaned. He would not leave us alone and that He would give us the Holy Spirit and also a promise of an eternal kingdom, eternal life. And through His sacrifice on a Friday like this, the Lord Jesus paid the highest price for you and for me to achieve that to receive His Spirit and to have everlasting life. Today, on Good Friday, we are going to be speaking more about that here at the UCKG Help Center. We're having a service at 9 a.m. and then 11 a.m. and a special service at 3 p.m today, where we are going to be declaring the end of all suffering in your life, pain. As the Lord Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. So, your suffering will finish. Your pain will end. And the Lord will give you a new life and a new beginning today. All right, you can participate in one of our meetings. We also have at night, 9 p.m. And you are all welcome. If you're watching me right now, here in Hong Kong, you can come to the eighth floor of the Trade Square building anytime today, anytime until 10 p.m. The help center will be with door open until 10 p.m. And you can pass by 
you can visit, you can pray at the altar, before the cross, not to cry, but to claim what the Lord Jesus has done for us. That's right, my friends. Claim what he did on the cross for you. He doesn't want you to cry for him because he's not suffering anymore. Though the Bible says God suffers with our suffering, God does not have a personal suffering. He suffers with your suffering. But he doesn't want you to cry for him. He wants you to rejoice, to have a new life, to stop suffering. So come and claim this victory today on Good Friday. All right, very well. For more information, call us at 2827 2525 or visit our website uckg.hk. We're going to be meditating today on day 19 of our fast of Daniel. We are reading the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 5. Jesus answered and said, Most assuredly I say to, to you, unless one, unless a person is born of water and the Spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So, unless you or me are born of the water, born of the water is baptism in water, and the person received the word of God that is like water to cleanse them, they accept God's word, and they get baptized in water, and the Holy Spirit, the Spirit is the Holy Spirit. They receive the Holy Spirit. So this person cannot enter the kingdom of God. So in order for the kingdom of God to come upon your life or for you to enter God's kingdom, you must be born of the water and born of the Spirit. The water representing the Word of God. The Word of God that is living waters. Jesus said to Peter, you are already clean because of the Word. So when a person accepts the Word of God and they start practicing the Word of God, the Word of God will cleanse them like water. And of course, they follow in the footsteps of Jesus, and they get baptized in waters. Now, the next step is the Holy Spirit, the baptism with the Holy Spirit, born of the Spirit of God. So this person is no longer fleshly. They no longer live according to the flesh, but now they live according to the Spirit that dwells within them. Then, you will be able to enter the kingdom of God. So yes, as I mentioned earlier, Jesus died for us to enter the kingdom of God, to have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Okay. When you believe in Jesus, you will be saved. However, you need to go to the next step. You need to be born of the water and born of the Spirit. You need to accept the Word of God and allow the Word of God to wash you each and every day and start living according to the Spirit of God because if you believe in Jesus, you accept Jesus, but you continue to live according to the flesh and you satisfy the, 
the desires of the flesh and not of the spirit, so you will not enter the kingdom of God. You will still be part of the kingdom of the world. So that's why there are many people that, though they believe in Jesus, they are not yet in the kingdom of God. They belong to the kingdom of this world. How is that possible, pastor? Just see your life. Check yourself. If you are still living without peace, if you still do not have joy within your soul, you are depressed, suicidal, lonely, you don't see the plenitude of God within you, the fullness of His presence. So it's a proof that you did not enter the kingdom of God yet. When a person enters God's kingdom, which is a spiritual kingdom, they are no longer the same. They change completely. They receive peace, joy. Now they have self-control. They live a different life. And that's why you need to check yourself. You need to be sincere. Analyze yourself. And analyze your faith. Because according to your faith, you will see the results of your life. If your faith is half, is not complete, so your life will also be incomplete. But if your faith is full, is whole, then your life will be whole. Your life will be complete. And the Holy Spirit wants to do that. The Holy Spirit wants to do that in your life, even today, my friends. Even today, if right now you say, Pastor, I want to be born of water, born of the Spirit. I want to accept the Word of God inside of me. I want to receive the Spirit of God. So there where you are, in the name of Jesus, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive a new heart. Receive a new mind. Be born again. Be born of the water, born of the Spirit and become a new creation this very moment. If you believe, so you may receive it right now. And this Sunday, this weekend, we will conclude the fast of Daniel with the great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Join us tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. or Sunday, 7 a.m. in Tagalog, 9 a.m. in English, 11 a.m. in English, or 10.30 a.m. in Chinese. We are here on the 8th floor of the Trade Square building in Chunshawan. So you can check our website, see more for yourself, how you can get here at the UCKG Help Center. And Sunday is going to be the Sunday of Remember Me. It's Easter Sunday. Sunday of Resurrection, and it's a day that God will remember you, and you will remember God as well. Remember the Lord, remember what He did for you, remember His sacrifice, and bring a soul with you, bring a friend, a friend that is forgotten, rejected. And if you are here now watching this program, you never came to the UCKG, and you feel rejected, forgotten. Listen, God is calling you, my friend. God is calling you. You who are rejected. You who feel forgotten, rejected, neglected. You think that nobody remembers you. I'm here to say to you, God remembers you. And if you come, if you come to Him, you will experience His power in your life. All right? This Sunday, Sunday of Remember Me, Easter Sunday, here at the UCKG 
Help Center. All right? We look forward to seeing you. May God bless you all abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Until next time again. Bye-bye.